uh, draw this wonderful scrub jay. I use just a, typically a pink pearl. I'm using, uh, today I'm using a uh, Prismacolor pencil today and an eraser. And I'm using just regular sketching paper. And then I'm going to show you, this is, get a good picture of that guy. So what's interesting about, and I like, when I do birds, I don't like to necessarily do them straight on. He's grabbing on to the branch. So we're seeing the top of his tail, and then we're seeing the inside or the bottom of his tail here. And then we're seeing his talon grasping on to the branch. So these are some vertical branches versus horizontal branches that he's grabbing onto here. So if everybody has got, uh, everybody feel ready to go? Give me a thumbs up, yeah? Okay. So first thing we like to do is let's, we want our paper to be horizontal. So you can see this is what's called the landscape. So you want to do it sideways. I've got my name on it. There I am, Larry. Today's date, which is 73020. Now I see a lot of familiar faces here. And again, I want to just say that this is being put on by the Rum River Art Center. And I want to make sure everybody can hear me okay. Is every, uh, my, yep, it's good. Okay, great. So let's get started. We're going to start with the bird's head, okay? So what we want to do, and you can see the head shape is kind of a circle. So what I want to do is kind of put a circle up here. I'm just going to start with this kind of circle shape. Can everybody see my circle up there? Yep. Now, the idea is that I'm going to come into the middle of the circle with a dot right here. Because that's going to be where I'm going to start his beak. So what I do is I come from inside here. I'm going to come out like that. You can see it's a simple arch line. And I'm going to do the kind of the same thing, not quite as arched on the bottom, but it comes out and it comes down and curves just a little bit, just like a little bit of a smile to it. So we should have, and you can see I started the beak in the center of the head there, or instead of a circle. Great. So then what we want to do is we're going to come from the top and we're just going to kind of come back over like that. And then right up here where the circle was, I'm giving him his nostril. That's where my original circle was. So you come up. And you still, you see that his head's going to have a little bit of a rise there. So I'm going to add a little bit of a rounder there. Now, we want to come almost straight back with the bottom line. So I come straight back, and then I'll curve it down. So he's got that kind of arch, and it's about right about that area it comes down. So I've got that arch right there. Now I'm leaving my line so you can kind of see the circle there. But then what we want to do is we want to come in and we want to do the inside of his mouth because he's opening his mouth. So we want to come over here. And I'm arching it this way, like that. I'm going to get rid of this, my line there, so you can kind of see it better. And this will be like dark area here if we get around to that. You're kind of seeing this area in here. That's the inside of his mouth. So 
just checking how everybody is doing here. Are we all, we're doing real good here? I'm, get, I'm seeing some thumbs up. Awesome. So what I want to do is right, you can see there is the nostril and here's the eye. So the eye is up here. And what I want to do is I want to start with a circle for his eye. And then I'm going to go with the area around it. And his eye is usually, we'll, we'll get into darkening it, but it's going to be dark like that. Now, the next thing we want to do, and I'm going to use uh, maybe my red marker so you can kind of see it a little better, is this is his mask. And his mask is going to come, it comes above the eye, down, and in. So this area now is going to be his mask. His, his head continues just past the mask. You can see that this is going to be blue or a lighter coat, this is going to be darker in there. So we all should, do we all feel comfortable with the head of our bird? Just seeing how we're all doing. Oh, I see somebody wants to join us. Let me see if I can do two things at once. And so just uh, the mask, you can see it's not, the mask actually comes up a little bit like this. So I'm gonna change it like that. There we go. You see what I did here right on the bottom of it, his beak comes back up there. Maybe it's supposed to look like the map of Florida. It doesn't, I don't know what, it's just his head. So next, what I want to do is I want to get the basic shape of his body. So I'm going to kind of just do some basic shapes and then we'll alter it. So what I want to do is I want to come in here and I'm just going to do this kind of rounder shape to a point like this. I'm going to do the same thing. So I want to kind of come like that, and I want to bring it to a point here. So we're going to just start by bringing this shape. We'll adjust it, but this gives us a good starting point, because what we'll do is we'll add his wing. I keep saying his. It's, this is a, a she. The, the he is almost all blue. The she is blue and red with uh, black. So what I want to do next is I just want to get the, the wing shape. So we're just seeing and this is kind of because he's turning sideways, the wing is coming like that. So I'm, I'm keeping, you can see I'm bringing that wing back. That gives me the point. The reason I wanted to do the wing is that shows me because the wing comes right off the tail feather. So then I come, I'm going to come like this, and they have a nice long tail. So I want to come with a shape. This point is important right here because the point right here is the center. So I come over like that. And then I'm going to add, you're going to see that I'm coming down at an angle here, and I'm coming back behind his body there for the tail feather. So 
So just to kind of repeat, we kind of came in with this body shape, which is kind of the lemon. We did the wing, and then we came over here and did this tail. And the tail feather is on, we're seeing it sideways. So it's, so if you were looking at him this way as the tail coming, he's kind of turned it. So it's at this kind of angle right here. So we're seeing it at an angle. So we're seeing underneath, the underneath feathers of the tail. And that's why the underneath feathers are black. The top feather is blue. So we got this top feather maybe right about here that's blue. This part and this part's going to be black. Just want to see how everybody is doing. I'm going to just check in with my groups here. You guys doing okay? Are we ready to yet to move on to our feet? Yeah, I've got a couple other people. Maybe maybe they got knocked out. Let's admit them. We'll see if they can catch up with us. So I'm going to come back. And what I want to do next, guys, is we'll come back and add details. And I'm going to do it when I'm working on my pencil drawing. But I want us to get all set up with the main details. So. What we want to do now is we want to bring a branch over like this, and I want to bring it just inside of this tail feather. So I'm starting this branch. It's coming in like this, and this one is coming down like that. And I'm going to, oops, I just dropped my marker. I'm back. All right. So I have this branch. This branch is in front of him, so I'm going to erase the part of him like that. And then there is another branch that's behind him. And this just is to give us some perspective. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to add the feet and he's grasping on to the branch here. What's interesting is he's grasping onto it only up here. This one, he's kind of just leaning on it. A lot of times birds are just balancing themselves on a branch. They're not really using their talons to grasp unless they're climbing up or down. So what I want to do here is I'm going to add this one, and it's underneath the wing. This is kind of the front one, and I'm going to come over, and I want to have these shape that's kind of a C shape. Do you see how I kind of did that? So I'm coming over with the C shape. So it comes over the branch, and then I can add Another one that's coming from underneath here comes up to grab the branch. And it's just right below the wing. He's got three talons on the front and one on back. So four talons for a scrub jay. So again, you kind of make this shape that comes around the branch and then you have another one that comes from the other side up higher so now by doing that we've attached the bird's foot to the branch now what we want to do is we want to come down here is everybody ready to do the back leg give me a thumbs up we ready yeah so what we'll do then is i'm going to come here this leg is going to be behind the branch, so I come like this, coming almost straight down. I have two lines for the leg. I give him his knee. So you seeing how I'm doing that? I'm coming behind the branch, and then I come, I'm going to dot, dot, dot. I am over here, and I have his talon then 
coming around. One, two, three. And then he's got this other one over here. So it's not grasping as much as the other one. It's just holding on. Because what I like to do is I'm going to then kind of show more detail of getting these with my pencil now that we have the sketch done up here. I'm going to focus change our camera angle and I'm going to point it down on my picture here. We'll see if I can do this. Larry doing two cameras. It's kind of scary. We'll see if I can do it. Change camera. And there's my drawing. Okay. So I'm going to just going to move this out of the way so we can kind of see that. All right. So what I want us to do now, guys, is I've kind of drawn my bird with uh, the pencil ahead of time so we have it. I'm going to make so we can see this branch. I'm just going to outline it a little bit more so you guys can see it. I'm pressing a little bit harder on my pencil now. So the idea of today's drawing is that we might do this all in pencil. If you want to, you can add a little bit of color in the background. But I want to kind of show you how to create the texture of this bird just using our pencil and maybe a little old Q-tip here. Okay. So I want to. What I want to do is I want to come back actually to the mouth and the head. We're going to start back on on top, and then we'll work our way around the bird. So what we've done now is we want to take a look and I'm going to bring my picture down so you can kind of see the, the scrub jay. Maybe, there we go. He's right there. So you can kind of watch as I'm doing this. So what I'm doing now, guys, is I'm going to start with the eye area. I want to come over and I want to just get this eye I'm going to go around the eye first. And then I want to press a little bit harder on the eye. And then I'm going to use my eraser just to get a little bit of blending. I'm not really erasing. I'm just blending the eye a little bit there. And then I'm going to come with the mask following it. So I come like that. What I want to do is I want to come with my lines for my mouth again, coming in, kind of darkening them a little bit getting the arch correct. He's got his nostril there. Okay, and I'm going to use my eraser to get rid of some of the lines. What? Then I want to use So for the inside of his mouth now, I'm going to not make it super dark. I'm going to come in like that. I'm going to use my Q-tip. If you have a blending stump, I have a blending stump here too. They work great, but the Q-tip will work just fine. So I'm just going to come and blend that inside to get his mark. And you can see already, I'm going to do the same thing over here with his eye. Then I want to come and I'm I don't want to press too hard now. I'm gonna come in and I'm I'm gonna be working on his mask. So I'm coming in with this pencil. And I'm I'm thinking about 
each stroke I'm using as almost a feather. Just think of these as little feathers. As I'm kind of coming through here, doing each one of those like that. So then what I'm going to do is I don't want to blend it too much, but I want to take my Q-tip, blend his mask a little bit. I don't want to lose all my lines. So I'm getting that mask like that right there. So then I'm going to come and I want to go with another layer. of pencil on top of where I blended. All right. How's everybody doing? We're working on the head good. Now, the thing about the bird is that we're gonna be using pencils. So we're gonna use the pencil we just did for the mask is gonna be the darkest point. Now, the next part that we're gonna add is gonna be lighter. So you wanna use a little bit lighter force with it. And so I'm going to come in here and I want to bring in my feathers. This is where it's going to be like more blue. And I'm bringing in this area here. And then coming on to the chest a little bit. And you're seeing the difference between what we had done with the darker pencil with the lighter. So you can see quite a bit of difference here. Then I'm going to use my Q tip here just to kind of blend my. Bird's color here. So we get kind of his colors going there. Now, for there's kind of a white area, but I, I don't want it to be just as white as the paper. So I'm using the side of my pencil now, just barely touching this, just to get a little bit of color. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to erase. And I'm just, so I have the hint that there's a color there. So I put it on there and then I erase just so we get a bit of color right there. I just want to see, is everybody, uh, am I going too fast? Are we okay? You guys can let me know. Jump in if you, you're here. I'm seeing thumbs up. Good. Okay. Perfect. So what I want to do next is I want to work on his wing. And the wing feather, if we remember, we're going to do these feathers. And the first ones are kind of, they're kind of like this. So I want to come just with these feathers. So I start with those little feathers right there. Now these are kind of orangish, brown color kind of. And then it goes into a blue. So then I'm going to come over here with some blue. Well, it's not really blue. It's darker. And I'm using kind of a U shape here, or J. And I'm just coming with my J shape right here. So you get kind of the idea, and then I'm going to come back with my Q-tip and blend, and I'm going to get my, I'm going to try to blend each one of these little feathers as I go. You can kind of see how I created the wing. Now, the wing goes right into the tail feather. You can see the tail feather comes right along here. 
So what we want to do is continue with this shape. And this is going to be not super dark because we're going to make it darker. So I'm going to blend this To me, it looks a little dark, so I'm just going to come in with my eraser, lighten it up a little bit. Because the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do the underneath part. So what we want to do is we want to come and we make that V. And then this line continues. like that. Now this part of it here is going to be darker. So I'm going to be pressing darker on these tail feathers. I want it to have and any if you're using a number two pencil, this is going to work. You may need to go and sharpen your pencil a little bit from time to time here with these. And you're able to see, I'm going to come over with my eraser. Just to get the top of it like that. Now this, I want this line. And then I'm going to come with this part is going to come down and I'm going to make it a little bit. Did a little bit too much there. I want to come down with this. I'm going to bring it back. We're just going to work our way back to the bird's body. And I just want to kind of come back over that line again. You get to see how that working right there. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to blend it. You can kind of see how he's looking here. Now the next thing, we're going to come back and work on his body a little bit before we go to his talons, is we want to come in and you want to have, like we did here, up here, we're going to add a little bit of color. I'm using the side of my pencil. And then I'm going to erase because I just want a hint of color. So I come in and then I erase. I don't want it just to be white. So now I'll get rid of my, and I can just use, sometimes you can just use the extra graphite that's on the Q-tip here to do that. Now I'm just going to, Clean up some of the edges here. I'm going to clean up this. Now we're going to start looking at the talons. Now I'm going to go to a sharper pencil so I can, you might want to sharpen your pencil at this point. So I'm coming over here, I'm using my Derwent. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to come. There's the C shape right here. I'm coming around. So it's like this shape like that. And then I come in. And I add a couple of lines into there. 
and I come around here. For his front talon. So that they're wrapping around there and grabbing onto the branch. Once I've got that in there, his talons are black, so I'm just going to kind of make them a little bit darker. I'm going to come to my back leg. And I'm just going to make it medium shade, not too dark. You can see it's behind. I'm letting this branch be in front of it. Then I come over here. So it comes behind and I'm right up here and I bring his talon like that. And I come with another one there and the third one right here. And then this one wraps around. And then I just finish the branch inside of there. And I want that to be dark again, so I come in. I still want to see the line, so I'm just kind of bringing a color around there. So you can see how it, because of the way we have the talons and the legs, we get a lot of motion here, which is kind of fun because you're seeing this motion of the bird. So what I want to do next is I'm just going to clean up and I want to use my Q-tip to kind of blend it a little bit so it's not so harsh. I want to come in and I want to use the pencil just to kind of Come in and we give some texture to the branch. So I'm coming around each part here. And I'm doing them like little C's or U's. So I came on it like that, and then I'm just going to blend it. which is going to take any kind of hard edges away from it. And then the, the one that's in back, we, we don't want to go as hard on it because it's kind of uh, in the distance. So I'm going to make this lighter. And I'm just using a lighter touch with my pencil, kind of And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and I'm just going to blend it again. my Q-tip. And I'm going to go look and just kind of clean up. I see some smudges I want to clean up. I want to clean them up because I'm going to add, I want to add some smudges to this drawing now. And I say that because I want to have it so that we can um, work on doing a sky or a background with just our pencil. Now you can add some color if you want. You can use some watercolor. Uh, lightly but what i was just looking at is taking an extra piece of paper that i have here somewhere do i have it? yes i do i see it just grabbing my extra piece of paper
And I'm just, this can be any kind of paper and I'm just gonna rip this paper a little bit here. And I've shown this, I use this in landscapes, but I also use it in skies. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna use uh, my, my pencil. And I'm, what I wanna do is just put some, I'm taking my little scrap piece of paper here and I'm going to put pencil the um, graphite on it, just the edges. And you're gonna see how I'll use it. If you haven't done this before, it's kind of fun. So I'm just getting a nice graphite on there. I'm using the side to do that. Okay, so this way I'm gonna do some blotches uh, of uh, shading by using this little scrap piece of paper here. So what I do is I'm gonna start over here on the edge and I'm gonna work my way. I'm just gonna start coming. And this way it doesn't become too heavy at any one point. I'm just kind of coming over. I'm gonna do both sides of it and then I'm gonna move it. So you're already seeing that I got this kind of fuzzy kind of edge here and I'm gonna come, I'm gonna do it again. And by doing this, I'm kind of creating maybe trees way in the background. And it gives you a chance to see. You want to be careful not to go over the bird with that. So you're kind of seeing what I'm doing there. I'm going to turn this on the other side and I'll do it with this one now. It just gives you a whole different kind of background that with pencil that you don't get sometimes when you're working with other materials. And I, I kind of really enjoy seeing how we can use the same material, simple pencil and create some amazing backgrounds. You can see how I'm kind of creating this kind of shape behind the bird like that. Now, at a certain point, I need to add some more graphite. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more graphite to this. And then I'm gonna just continue along. And you can see how, if you want to, you can add colored pencil or watercolor to finish this drawing. I just like this as being a really nice pencil sketch. And I'm just kind of adding this background behind here, the bird. And it makes the bird kind of stand out, my little scrub jay, Florida jay out. And I can turn this sideways here. You guys may need that my, my Q-tips are starting to uh, fade into the here, so they might need some help in a minute, maybe getting a new one. but you're seeing how I'm kind of using this piece of paper to kind of create a really interesting background here. I'm gonna switch it back over here to come this way. So I'm going sometimes both directions when I'm using this piece of paper here because this way I'm able to really create an interesting texture for the background. And it also is gonna give it some perspective. Because it's kind of fuzzy, it seems farther away as you're seeing how we're working on this. I'm just gonna continue on with my background here. I think of all the things 
I like to draw, I think birds are one of my top, I've been really getting into, I'm hoping to do some more drawing of some sea turtles. I love sea turtles. I always like to, whatever I can see and, and experience is what I'm usually drawing. But you get the idea and you can take your time and really create a pretty amazing background. And all we're doing is we didn't use any pencil at all. On the background, we used the graphite from a piece of paper. So you get kind of a feeling here of how we're able to create this wonderful scrub jay. I was just going to check in to see how everybody's drawings are doing here. So I'm going to switch over to gallery and see how we're doing as people want to share what they've got there. I love it, John. It's great. Renee, really nice. Madeline, oh, that is good. Wow. Kirsten, yes, very nice. These are great, guys. Yeah, it's a fun project. Yes, I know it. Did I see both? Anybody else want to show theirs? Lori, that looks great, yes. Looks very nice, Lori. Bring it a little bit farther from the camera. I couldn't see it. Can you do it again, hon? Yeah. Renee's granddaughter. Oh yeah. That looks great. Wow. Very nice. <laughs> very nice. I love these. Well, this is a lot of fun. Uh I love doing birds, so this is my uh favorite uh topic i keep coming back to different birds by different artists but my favorite is john james audubon you can grab his book uh and uh, see his work and it's still amazing as much amazing today as ever um i know that i have uh, another thursday afternoon sketchbook class uh scheduled in about two weeks so Good. i hope you guys can join me again uh, we do uh, Art in the Park over in Ramsey on every other Thursday night, it seems. So that's where I'm going to be in uh, Ramsey over at um, The Draw next Thursday. Cool. So it's Thank a lot you. of fun, guys. Thank you, Larry. That was good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Larry. You. Thanks a lot. Switch back so I can say goodbye to everybody uh, from my other camera here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you that so much. That was great. I thought I was switching. Right. Maybe not. Oh, there you're there. I'm there. Good. There I am. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Good you very night, much. Everyone. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Right. Thanks. Until next time, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Next time. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs>